I've demonstrated that we are much stronger than I, th than I think we believe we are. And uh, running the Triple Scotia Marathon this, this year was the highlight of my, my running career so far. Um, it was something I didn't think I'd be able to do. I, it's pretty easy to run long distances on trails, but having to pound the pavement for three full marathons is, uh, is a real pain on the body. And uh, it was incredible to be able to do that in Toronto. Um, I've uh, gone through a lot of, a lot of issues in my life, uh, battling addiction and, and suicide and depression, and then finally coming forward three years ago and, and telling my wife and family that I'm a survivor of sexual violence. It was, it's, it's been really hard kind of finding my way. And uh, if it weren't for the running community, I, I don't think I would have made it through all of the, the different obstacles I've had to come through in my life. So it was particularly uh, sweet for me to be able to do what I did in my hometown. It's been a pretty remarkable year. Um, finding out that I was uh, awarded the Golden Shoe Award as the uh, Canadian Runner of the Year was completely unexpected. Um, I've traveled a long way in my running career. Um, I've now run over 125 marathons. And uh, I think this year has been a momentous year in terms of what I've been able to accomplish. Not so much on the road, but outside of my running. And uh, for me, I have become somewhat of a of a hope for a lot of other people who have gone through adversity, particularly survivors of sexual violence, and I am myself a survivor. I realized that my, my running times were getting slower as I'm getting older, I'm, I'm almost 50 years old, but I still had a good profile, and so I, I, I thought, as a, especially as a male survivor of sexual violence um, and someone who's overcome addiction and mental health issues, that I had somewhat of a platform that I could use. And uh, I've been a teacher for 24 years, and I'm comfortable being around you know, kids and large groups of people. So I thought that uh, it would be a perfect marriage in some, in some degrees and that I would be able to talk about how running for me and for many, many people has been a way to not only reconnect with your, with your body, but also a way of creating a sense of accountability. I've been clean and sober now for almost 19 years um, and dealing with the issue of the of the sexual violence I've only recently started actually getting into the heart of that stuff uh, I work in working with therapists and psychiatrists about that running is a great for me it's almost uh, like a like a landscape that I can paint every day um, doesn't matter what kind of day I'm having or I'm gonna have it's always a better day after I get out for my run. And I've had lots of runs where I have just tried to shut my brain down for three hours because I just feel overwhelmed with what's going on. I've had lots of runs where getting out there has allowed me to just you know, start pounding out the tempo and getting rid of a lot of frustration and anger that, that's building up inside of me. And I've also had a lot of runs where I've been out with other friends and just completely relaxing and supporting each other and joking around. And I think that's the beautiful thing about running is it, it, it really gives you what you need in the moment. 2016 is, is turning out to be a, a really big year. I decided to run something called the Ultimate Canadian Double Double. I'm going to be going to the Scotiabank Ottawa Marathon in May, and I'm going to run the marathon four times. So I'm going to run it twice on Saturday and then twice again on marathon day. So it's going to be an ultimate double double. This year, my main goal is to raise a lot of funds for treatment programs dealing with uh, childhood sexual abuse. So I would like to raise over $100,000 between January and the Toronto Marathon. That's, that's, that's my big goal this year.